In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Filmora 13's text to video creator. We will cover a few things. Number one is how to get the text in the first place. Next, makes adjustments because uh, this tool yeah, isn't perfect yet. So let's dive in and see what we get. When you open up Filmora 13, you will see this uh, AI text to video. If you click on it, you'll see something that you need to create the video text. Now you can type your own text or generate text with AI. So if you want to generate by AI, you can click on this and you can give it an uh, idea what you want to talk about. So let's say I'm going to talk about using AI to have a new YouTube intro and I can create some uh, details. Now I'm not going to cover this uh, too much, but if you want to use this feature, you can use it here or you can also go to this section, which is the AI copywriting to do the similar thing. So if you type of uh, AI copywriting, you will also have that. So I've actually written a short script so that we can dive straight into uh, this uh, AI text to video without making this video too long. So let's click on this. Now this is my uh, text that I've created and let's assume that I'm creating a new uh, podcast on my channel and I'm just going to copy this and paste it into the video text. And I am going to space it up slightly. You can select the English voice here. Uh, you can select uh, UK if you prefer. I'm going to stick with in, uh, US English. Let's have a white screen. Uh, and you can select the voice. And let's say I want to select Jenny, right? You can listen to the voice and see which one you prefer. Okay. So let's select Jenny and let's click text to video. Now, it will take some time for Filmora to generate this. So I'm going to pause the video and we're going to come back later. So now that uh, Filmora has created this, let's take a look at what we have. Now, first thing you notice that Filmora has actually created the uh, subtitles here as well. So it is uh, something that you don't have to do again. But let's quickly scroll through and see what we have. Hello and welcome to Video Matters, a podcast where we talk about... I would say that uh, uh, the, the images have uh, they have gotten the images uh, quite good. Uh, they, although there are some things that I would like to change as well. All right. Now I also noticed uh, that uh, some of the voiceover isn't as uh, as good as it should because there was too long a pause. So um, I'm going to have to uh, rearrange some of this. I need to adjust. And I'm going to adjust not just the sound, but I'm going to do the sound first. And this is my suggestion because. The most important thing is to get your the main voice or the voiceover correct first and we can adjust the video so I'm going to do that. But I'm actually quite impressed with what Filmora has come up with. And so on and so forth. Now uh, this has actually given me quite a good idea and I'm, going to, I'm not going to edit the entire video in front, it will take too long. But let's say for example, if you find some of the images are not suitable, uh, you can actually replace them. Now you can replace it with your own um, images or, your, or, or the videos that you have shot. Or you can also go to stock media and look for uh, other videos that you prefer. So let's say I, I do not want this uh, image. Now I can replace this with a video that I shot on myself or I could uh, look for uh, say pixels and look for video of someone holding a camera, right? Right, and you can just replace it. Okay, I can use this, although it's not as, as good as this. Let's just use this. I am going to place this key project settings. Let's not match it to media. Okay, and then I can remove this and place it down here, right? Right, so you get the picture and once you're done, all you have to do is just to export that video and you are practically done. Now, if you want to add transitions, you can do so as well. Let's say between this cut and this cut is too quick. Then you just look for transitions, look for something that you like. Just drag the transition down now, as you would normally do uh, when you're using Filmora and this is what you will come up with. The great thing about this is that by uh, creating your script, and putting it inside here, Filmora will actually have given you all the uh, ideas that you can use. Now, it's not perfect all the time. I've tried it with a different project and sometimes it gets it wrong. So all you have to do is to adjust the sound and then uh, replace the images that you do not want and that's it.
One thing I want to mention, if you're concerned about copyright of the music or the images, then what I suggest is that you use your own music so that you won't have any uh, issues with that. And you can actually double check on the images or you can go to the uh, websites like Pixels and other websites and replace those uh, video shots or the images. The key thing here is that by using this uh, AI text to video, you don't have to really dig too deep in to uh, search for the images at least it would have given you ideas what are some of the images that you can use check out what's on the screen right now for the next filmora tip